Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is never HTV, guys. I want to discuss a man who married off her girl at um, 13, 13 years old. Today is the day that we are talking, we are coming against that as a nation, early marriages, but we should not even call them marriages, guys, because how do you marry a child to a whole man? And do you know how old the man is? <laughs> the man is uh, 55 years old. <laughs> this has to be discussed, guys. How do you go marrying your grandchild? This must be a, grand a grandchild. When you are 13 and you are married off to a man of 55, guys, this is a child. This is a child of 13. What does she know? A child of 13 years knows nothing, guys. A child of 13 years knows nothing. Let me say, let us, let, let, let us brainstorm, guys. Let me ask you, you've married this child and you've gone home with this kid, because this is a kid. Are you going to make her a wife? What are you going to do with this girl? Are you going to, to teach her ways of the bedroom or what? Because this is a very small kid who knows nothing about the bedroom issues. Uh, is it that there are no mature women that you can marry men? Mm -hmm. And don't you also have children? How would you feel when your child is married off at a, at a very early age? an old man there's a lot of sun you'd have discussed this somewhere in the shade but there's a lot of sun uh, sun or not sun or not you cannot tell me that a 13 year old girl would make a wife Issues of life, guys. Here, this is never HTP. Please like and subscribe. A 13 year old girl can never make a wife, can never make a wife, guys. No, and we are here waiting to see what the police will do because he has been arrested. And we want to hear and see what the police will do with that now. And uh, we understand that it is the father of the girl who suggested that the man marries a uh, girl. So that dowry is paid to him. Oh no, this son is too much. The son is spoiling for me, guys. Let me look for a place where I can keep this camera. So we can discuss this issue in the shade. Guys, he suggested that uh, the girl is married off so that uh, the dowry that is paid will be able to cater for the ones that are in school and those that are behind her. The, the, the man has got nine children, the father of the girl who is 13. And I'm wondering if this girl is the firstborn and uh, has got nine children. Did he even ever space these children? How how are the, was the wife getting these children? Or are they children for two wives? That one is something I've not gotten to establish. I've not established that. But the man has got 13 children and he says that he needs the money in order to cater for the other children that are younger, that are younger than uh, the one he's marrying off. So what he did is he, uh, he struck a deal with the husband-to-be, to the daughter, the son-in-law, to be, and uh, it was agreed that he he marries off, uh, he marries the daughter, and uh, he pays a certain uh, number of cows. This is in the Maasai community. Maasai community is in Kenya. 
Oh guys, my phones. My phones. My phones. Um, some cows had to be paid as dowry. And this girl was only called to be told, come and go with this man, this is your husband. <laughs> is it a laughing matter? Should I even be, be laughing? Uh, the women community of Kenya has called the police. And uh, the man has been arrested. The man who was marrying the girl. But we also want the father to be arrested. The father to the girl. And uh, people are here debating and saying that we should not have the father arrested because uh, he's the sole breadwinner. The wife died a few months ago. And so if he's arrested, there are some small, very small kids that are left in the compound. Who is going to take care of them? And here I am saying, let him be arrested. People of Good Hill are, are going to see how these kids are going to be brought up. The 12, uh, the, 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 sorry, there's eight, eight kids that are in the compound. We can look for a way of, of, of catering for them, taking care of them, buying some, some food, maybe employing some help. And uh, that's my suggestion. I don't know what the other members of this Women League of Kenya are going to decide. But I'm deciding, um, if I were to be asked, I would have said that the father also be arrested. Because that is like setting off your child. You're setting off your child for the sake of money, a very young, young child. And I'm here asking myself, what does this father think this man is going to do at night with this girl of 13 years? What is he going to do at night with this child? Is he considering that, that he that uh, his child is going to be subjected to uh, mature behavior at night by this 55-year-old man? Is he considering that? Do men know what that means? Do they know what it means? This is a whole grown man with a whole grown body of a very old man who is 55 years old. Is he going to undress before this daughter of this man and sleep with her? No. Guys, please write in the comment section and tell us what we should do because we are here waiting for the for the police to arrest the, the father. The man has already been arrested, but the father is resisting and saying that uh, he has other kids to take care of. And he's very arrogant. He's saying, he's asking us whether we have ever brought him a meal to give to his nine children. <laughs> and guys, I'm wondering, were we there when he was giving back to them? I'm sorry to ask that. But it is because the man is arrogant and I'm like, uh, we are in the sun guys, we are studying somewhere in the sun, that's why you see I'm, I'm keeping on moving and I'm asking myself, these women, you know women of, men of the Maasai community, they, <laughs> well, I don't want to discuss a particular community in Kenya, but I just want to say that they marry off very young children, but they are going to stop this. Today is a day we are celebrating the girl child and uh, we are refusing these things to continue, guys. We are saying this should not continue. It should not continue. Children should be allowed to be children. Let them enjoy their ch childhood. And uh, let the children not be made wives and women. Also, they should not be sold like merchandise out there. They shouldn't. When you are, a father is a, is marrying off a 13-year-old daughter, he's uh, doing business with humanity, in a human life, and he's not going to be allowed, be it his child or not. It is not going to be allowed. It is not going to be allowed. So, guys, uh, we are here objecting and we are saying he should be arrested and this girl has been rescued, thank God, the girl has been rescued. Yes, the girl has been rescued and thank God 
he had not uh, other, uh, he she had not been taken to the man's home but uh you can imagine how how <laughs> how annoyed he is he's saying that his cows must be returned he should be given back his cows that he paid as dowry uh, <laughs> and i'm asking myself was he paying dowry uh, for a wife or what this is not a wife this is a, a child were you paying dowry to marry who were you marrying a child or a, or a wife you man you're supposed to look for a grown woman. I hear men are meaner than men in the world. Nah. Most men are, 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 are... Most women are looking for husbands. Why don't you go and look for a mature woman and marry her? And make her a wife. And that woman is going to be very happy because people are looking for husbands. I hear so. Women are looking for potential husbands whom they can't get. So, guys, <laughs> ah, this man should have gone and looked for a mature woman to marry, but not marry a kid. A kid who is 13 years old. You should see the way the, girls, the girl is crying. It's only that in Kenya you don't just film anybody without permission. And also, it is not proper to film this girl. It is not proper, but uh, these are issues of life, the ones we discuss in this channel. And guys, uh, I'll tell you about the outcome. I'll let you know about the outcome. And guys, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.